Hello everybody, welcome to my haul video. I had a really great weekend. Uh, the first thing I'm just gonna show you, I paid $35 for everything I'm going to show you right now. So this was actually the very first thing that I see on the table when I get to this yard sale. And so I asked the guy, I said, do you know if this works? And he said he didn't, um, because sometimes these do erode with time, but I'm, I can test that out. And just to make sure we're on the same page, you know, I asked him how much it was. I know these sell for about 100-ish. I know because I've sold them before. I've never had this one, but I have sold Beatles reel-to-reel -reel tapes before. He said it was a dollar. So what I did at that point is I just started grabbing anything that I thought I could make money on, putting it in a stack, and then he just charged me 35 for the whole stack. So I got this. I should get, um, I don't know, I would say 75 to $100 from that. I picked this up. I didn't open it, but I knew that this would be a collectible item. It turns out it is empty. So this could still be a cool item for somebody. Maybe you could keep papers in it or something. I might throw it out. I'm not sure. Um, I might just try to pop it up for 10 bucks or something like that. And then he had a lot of lighters. I don't really know much about lighters, but when I see them and they're cheap enough and they look vintage, I do buy them. This is an old Zippo that's in beautiful condition. It looks like it might even be unfired. Then I got this lighter, the Gibbons Hotel in Dayton. That's just a very awesome looking lighter. So if anybody collects uh, restaurant stuff, that's very cool too. Look at that logo, the Whaler. Or stuff from Dayton, Ohio. This is likely a collectible item, especially if this still exists. I don't know. I didn't look these up yet, so I don't know. So when I started looking at the lighters, I saw that a lot of them had these prices on it, but I just disregarded all of that and just made my stack. So uh, these Playboy glasses, I have four of them. They're like in mint condition. And so I have two of these. And then I have also two of these little shot glasses in just really perfect condition. They look like they're not used. So I could probably get $30, I'm thinking, out of those. He had this fantastic Art Deco vase or planter that I just think is magnificent. I don't see any markings on it. It looks sort of new. I don't know. I'm like a little bit worried that it's a reproduction, but he really did have an, a lot of old glassware there. Anyhow, I think that she's fantastic. And there is a fatal flaw. She has a tiny, tiny chip right here. So I figured if it didn't sell for a bunch of money, I was going to keep her. I just love this. And then he, I got this whole thing of ephemera, and I'll show you some interesting things in here. I won't show you everything, but there's some old sheet music, right? So old sheet music doesn't usually sell for much unless it's very special. Uh, this might be of interest to railroad people, but you know what? There's probably just too many of them up. So I got some interesting old postcards. I got some old baseball cards. I don't know anything about baseball cards at all. These are probably nothing. And some cool, just some cool old stuff in here. And now there are, there are a lot of antique cards in here, uh, photos rather, in here. There's another one. Some nice old stuff here. Look at the toy train. Isn't that fabulous? See it on the stoop? Anyway, here's some cool, look, she has some cool jewelry on, some more cool old photos. He's got a good poofy thing going on the top of his head. Look at this mustache and this guy, right? So I was very, very quickly just trying to look through. I was really barely looking at them because I knew he was going to give me good price. And I knew I wanted all of them. But something that is particularly interesting here are these cabinet cards that are Japanese. And I think these are just beautiful. Of course, I don't know what that says, but there is handwriting on the back of all of them. And there's a whole stack of them, and they're just really, I just think they're beautiful. I love the clothing. I love their faces. I love old photographs, so I'm not going to go through all of them. But these are, are really, really outstanding. And some of these that open, which I'm not going to do, they're particularly nice. And they have tissue paper, and I don't want to try opening them because I don't want to rip it. But really beautiful things. So those might sell for a couple of bucks on eBay. I might keep them. 
I don't know. Then once I got to the bottom, when I got it home, I see that there are some old magazines in here and they're in nice shape. That's some such, such great cover art. Look at that. And this one, a great pinup. But then I saw these air trails. These air trails magazines, these are from the 1930s and I have a bunch of them. I'm so sorry. I actually should just do this so that it's not it's completely annoying. Now it's just slightly annoying. Uh, these are just fantastic. They're not in fabulous condition, but for the 30s, these are really not bad. I'll grade these properly. I know how to grade magazines and comics. So this one is, I think, just the cover. So I'll just probably throw this with another one, but look at how would that look framed. Isn't that amazing? Nice, bright, vibrant colors. Anyhow, I got just a bunch of these. Air trails, air trails. And then at the bottom, there's all these cool photographs, like from the 40s. I don't know. They're like modeling pictures, and they're so super cool. And there's just tons of really interesting stuff here. And I don't know what these, it's, this looks like this was taken for a magazine proper, uh, possibly. And somebody was very talented. I think this is just one of those mass produced things. I don't think that's actually a photo this guy took, but some is like of machinery and just really high quality photographs. So I just don't know what they are. I don't know what I'm going to be able to get for them. Some of them are just fabulous. Yogi Berra. I don't know. I haven't really gone through this, through this, but I think it's, I just think they're fascinating. I love old photographs. I, let me see if I can show you. There's like a, a really fantastic one in here that I have to show you. Yeah, this guy is definitely taking photos for a magazine or something or a newspaper. Joe's Market, who knows if that still exists. Hmm. Roosevelt, New York. Interesting. And I got some interesting stamps. I don't know much about stamps. I'll look them up. I don't know. I actually didn't even know they were in here. All right. There are some celebrity ones. And then these are just really large, but there's a super cool advertising one for cigarettes. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, this one. Look at this. What is that? Isn't that cool? That's a photograph, actually. It looks like it isn't, but it is an, a photo. Super cool. All right, so all that was 35. I'm looking to get a few hundred bucks out of that. I'm thinking a um, hundred for sure just on the Beatles thing and so on. So then I went back the next day and I'm going to show you that next. So I went back the next day and I found some more good stuff. I always buy film noir DVDs. I know my way around DVDs pretty well. You may not, but film noir is always a good thing to keep your eyes open for. I know this volume three isn't very valuable. I've sold this exact one before. I'll probably get 15 or $20. This is maybe a hundred dollar DVD set. I might just try to get rid of it quick and ask 75 or something. So sometimes these films go out of print and there are extras on here too. There's commentaries and this is a highly desirable out of print set. Here's the first one. This one's much less rare. I might be able to get $20. These discs are in like perfect condition. It looks like they've never been played. So here's a TCM. When I find a Turner Classics movie box set, I usually look it up, but I knew everything was going to be cheap. This is still in the shrink wrap. This is maybe $15 or $20, something like that. So not bad, not bad. I picked these up. These are interesting. These are by Lancome. This is really girly stuff. These are all different scented soaps and they smell scrumptious. I don't know, I might be able to get $25 for this. So here's an old trinket dish. This is Tibetan, and this is likely uh, real turquoise. That's real coral, and this is brass. It's a pretty little dish. I might be able to get $20 for that. I might keep it because I really do like it. And then I found this Color King glassware by Federal. It's an ashtray set. And this is in like perfect condition. Look at these ashtrays. 
These are perfect. Looks like they were never even removed from their boxes, really. So I got that. Now this is all still from that same guy. I don't know much about pottery, but I did get some pottery. He had a lot of old dishes there. I don't know if that's old or not. I got a pair of these. They're in like near perfect condition. Then this looks like the same name brand. Boy, if you know what these are, please let me know. Isn't that a nice double vase? That looks like that might be the same company. It's very similar. Also just in perfect condition. And then this was sitting on the table. This is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Hino, Japan. Look at her face. She's just got a great 1930s thing going on. Look at that dress. She is lovely. So I'll probably get $25 for that. I got this little thing. I know this probably isn't worth anything, but I just thought this was so weird. It's like a little baby sitting on a shoe and then another like littler baby facing the other. I just... I thought it was bizarre and I love bizarre stuff so I got this to just I don't know put somewhere and enjoy so here's a nice collectible I'm probably going to put 35 or 40 dollars on her she's a little leaf girl and she is signed Acme China made in Japan she's really collectible hey Rosie what are you doing Rosie hello now, I got this because it looked very old. This is very beautifully painted. This looks like this is all hand-painted with gold paint, and it's raised up. I have no idea what this vase is. I just know that it looks really old. It looks maybe 1910s old to me. I don't know. By the way, everything was $30 that I've shown you um, that second day. So... This is interesting. I see the original box. I can see that it's new. And I just opened it up. And it's a commemorative piece from 2000. And this is a beautiful bowl. It's just beautiful. Look at the etchings on it. Isn't that nice? So I got that. I don't know if this is worth anything. I just might donate it. It might not be worth much. But I got it because I was just pulling my whole stack together. So <clears throat> on top of all of that, when I went back the second day, he said, oh, I have a lot more photos. And I got another box of photos, which I'm not even going to show you, but there were some cool postcards in there and so on. Um, and then I got this little set. This is sort of a cute little thing. This is porcelain. This is like a, a decal, or this is also called transferware. It's a little table. And then I got two little chairs. It is marked on the bottom. I think one of them says Paris, France as well. I didn't look these up. It might not be worth anything. Just a little miniature table and chairs. I just thought it was really cute. Um, when things aren't really worth anything, I just donate them to a church or something like that. I try not to keep a lot of stuff around that's not going to sell for me. These might. I don't know. I might try putting that up for $20 or something like that. It's awfully adorable. So anyway, that's that. And I'll be right back with some stuff that I got at yet another yard sale this weekend. So here's the best thing that happened this weekend. These are kind of high-end speakers. They're by a company called Blue Room. So you can see right off the bat, they're extremely mod. They're very futuristic. They're groovy. They just, you can tell that they're special. And I asked the woman for their history, you know, where did you get these? And she said that she was an editor or something like that in Manhattan for an audiophile magazine. And her boss gave her these and they were $10. She said they work fine. Of course, that's going to make a big, big difference as far as what these will sell for. But I think I should be able to sell these for three or $400 if they work. But they're just awesome. Look at their little skinny legs so that was just a great great buy that i got this weekend i may not even be able to sell these i might just keep them so uh, i'll keep you posted i don't know i gotta check them out and see how they sound so here's some more stuff i got here's an old christmas church it still has its steeple which are often missing this is actually a music box and a light and you see it's going to have this stained glass window look 
This is quite nice. This is by a company called Berman and Anderson. So I'm hoping to get $40 from this guy. This is really, it's in perfect shape. And then I got this crazy music box. Isn't that nuts? Oops, it's a little problem with a little bottle brush tree here. I'll fix that. But I just think their hair and their, I just, I don't know. It's by a company called Sankyo. And I think I can get 25 for that. I don't know, maybe 15. Super cute. And I also got this Elvis. You know, Elvis and the Beatles, two good things to just keep an eye out for. I have good luck selling Carlton card stuff. I think this was a dollar. It's brand new in the box. It's never been removed. I think I can get 20 for that, maybe 15, something like that. Nice and light, nice and easy to ship. I like that. So I don't sell clothes often, but I do have very good luck with Cracker Factory. And this is new with tags. And it's a size large. You know, they sold this on HSN or QVC. And I just sell these really easily all the time. So Raggedy Ann and Andy, this is a very collectible thing. People love Raggedy Ann and Andy and dolls. This is like a faux scrimshaw. You can see this was $45 in the 70s. I saw the Raggedy Ann and Andy and I just thought maybe, I don't know, maybe I can get $30 or $40 for this, something like that. It's very nice. Then I got this Art Deco style, like it's a jewelry dish. And this is very, very beautiful. This is clearly from the 70s. This is an old, old. Uh, maybe it's from the 80s. Just a very beautiful Art Nouveau dish. And it's not super high quality, right? I mean, look at her hands. Not totally detailed, but she is absolutely beautiful. This would look so great on a vanity or on a dresser with some jewelry on it. I think she's so beautiful. You could even put a, a candle over here, a flameless one. Then I got these. So... This is interesting. I got all these Chanel's and I'll show you how much they were. They were a dollar each. They're all still factory sealed. And so I would be shocked if I couldn't get $50 out of those three or more. Uh, and then I got this. I actually didn't look this one up yet. But if I see something like this, Coldwater Creek or Bath and Body Works, sometimes they have products and scents that go out of production. And sometimes these can be collectible and people will buy it no matter what the price because they want it. So I found some license plates. I know firefighter collectibles are always a good seller for me. And I don't know if anybody would be interested in this. Probably maybe, I don't know, $20 interested. And I got this whole stack of license plates for $5, so I'll show you. And so that was one. And then I thought this one was interesting because it says the New York's World Fair, but the 30s one. Here's another one that's really rusted. It's kind of gross. I don't know. Do people want this in their man cave? Maybe because it's from 1930. Here's two that are in much better condition, but these are much newer. This one's from 51. So, you know, for a dollar each, I took them just in case. So I got these tapestries, but I thought, you know, a, a Renaissance fair kind of person would be interested in these tapestries. They're very nice. Are they matching? Yes, they're a matching pair. I don't know if I would sell those separately or not. Really well made. Let's see if there is a mark on the back. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe that's worth something. I'm not sure. I thought that there might be a collector out there for these. I think they're very lovely. Okay, this is the second time I found these CVS Stuffins Island of Misfit Toys plushes. These are all new with the tags. Now, some of these toys are rarer than others. Here's the rarest one. It's the polka dotted elephant. He's the best one. Anyway... I will probably not put these up one by one. I'll put the Frosty. She's a Frosty, the snowman. Um, I will put the Frosties up and then the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer up too. And um, I'll probably get maybe $25 
for the frosty ones and then a hundred dollars for the Rudolph ones, something like that. Or maybe just a hundred dollars for this whole bag. I was very excited to find these. These are a great thing to be on the lookout for. And especially when they have the tags and they haven't been played with by some little kid. Great buy. I love selling these. So that Monopoly game right there sells for about $50. I paid a dollar for that. That is new and sealed. I got that at a VFW. They were having a yard sale. And they had other military stuff. They had like 12 of these glasses. I just took two of them. I hope I'm not going not gonna to regret not getting all of them. But I got this. I haven't really looked these up yet, but these are very beautiful glasses. This is truly just pretty they're like artwork really isn't that nice and I got three of them and they're all different I think this one is from Wales or something I did look this up but I can't find that exact glass I just know what that that's what that is so I always buy Tiffany boxes they do sell this is a nice big one I got that for a dollar uh, I'll probably keep that because I really like Tiffany's boxes so here's some Doonesbury. They said Starbucks. I got two of these. I don't know if these are worth anything or not. So CDs can be tricky. I didn't know if these were worth money or not, but they were 25 cents each. They were both sealed. Classical CDs, I have done really well with them. They can be tough sometimes. This one, it turns out, sells for maybe $15 or $20. That'll be nice and easy. It will take one second to list it one second to ship it so this might sell for 10 this is on rca victor red seal which is a nice quality record label so for 25 cents i just thought i would take a chance if not i figured i'd just donate them so here's some sterling silver tongs i think these are to pick up sugar cubes with they might be for ice but i'm not sure i got all these these were 50 cents each they're all new. They're like car things. I don't know. I looked one up quickly as I was standing there and it looks like, I don't know, maybe I can get 15 bucks each out of them, something like that, 20 bucks each. I thought that was worth it. Easy peasy to list and to ship. So at the same place, I got these tarot cards. I try to pick up tarot cards when I see them. This is likely like, I don't know, $10 or something. I don't even know if I'll bother putting this up maybe but sometimes you get these and they're really rare and they're worth a lot of money i usually buy pottery barn stuff if i see it these were particularly nice they don't look like they've been used this sort of is a jadeite these are drawer pulls very nice there's a lot in here too and these look like these are going maybe four for 25 or something like that maybe i'll sell them six for 25 i'm not sure yet i got to take a look at them and see if they're in perfect shape and all that but that was a good little thing and then i took a chance i'll show you what i bought i bought something i don't really know much about i bought a lot of these pins and so i paid 60 for all these pins thinking that maybe one of them is worth something now i tried to suss out from the guy i said do you sell on the internet you know you could probably get more money on the internet for this stuff and he said, no, he says, here's what my technology is like. And he showed me his flip phone. And so I believed him that he did not sell on the internet. And so I thought I would just take a chance because I got a lot of pins. I'm going to show you how many I got. Let me just take out, I'll show you the patches first. So I got a lot of Rocky and Bullwinkle iron-on patches. So I figured I would be able to get five bucks for these without an issue, I would think. They're really cute. And so... I just started thinking, geez, for $60, I think I could make the money in the patches. And then even if I only got a dollar each for these pins, I don't know. But I'll show you. There is one special one in here, I think. And this is from somebody who doesn't really know. I don't know. Is that still their, their team mascot? I'm not sure if that's totally PC. They might have had to stop with that. But these are nice. I don't know. I thought the price was right. And I'll show you the special one. This one, okay. So this one is an employee pin. And he said that he knew someone who worked at Wrigley Field and he gave him this. So I don't know if that's true or not, but I figured that this one would probably be worth something, even if it's only $20. I just don't know. I took a chance. 
If they're not anything good, I can sell them as a lot or I might sell them at an auction. I know I'm not going to be out my $60, right? Because you know they're worth something. They have some value, even if it's 50 cents each or a dollar each. I'm going to get some of my money back. I think I'm going to get all my money back. And then I got this keychain. I, I was sort of thinking about keeping this because I love King Kong. And then he had some lighters. I don't know much about lighters. I know that they sell well for me. And if they're inexpensive, I just grab them. This one's particularly cool. Look at that. Whoa. That's neat. What does this say? Jamaica Savings Bank. So Jamaica, it's Jamaica, Queens, because I did get these in New York. It's not Jamaica, Jamaica. And then I got this little coin as part of the lot. I don't know, a service coin. People do collect train stuff. But I knew for sure that I could get 15 each for these belt buckles. These are very cool belt buckles, and I have two, as you can see. So that's everything I got. So I guess um, I didn't spend much this weekend. I think I spent $150 altogether, and that is part of my haul. That's sort of some of the most interesting things. I got a couple things that don't sell, like him, for example. I thought that was going to be really a special thing, but wouldn't you know that train does not work right there, so I'm putting him out into the garbage tonight. He's too big. I don't want to be bothered. He's annoying. Anyhow, that is some of the haul I got this weekend. Happy hunting, everybody. Please subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Thanks.